Okay, this is the Mill Hill Building Committee meeting on Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. The time is 6.45, um, and we are going to skip. We just finished the executive session, so I'm on agenda item number two, the Pledge of Allegiance, which I will start. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. So for the record, um, we did an executive session to tour the building for the building committee. So the members in the, the Gilbain construction trailer right now is Jason Lee, Norm, Melanie, now, Heather and Jeremy, and we have members of Gail Bain in the in the in the trailer, um, Amar and Rob, and we have Mark from Colliers here and Nancy, the recording secretary. Um, so, if we're all set, let's move to item number three on the agenda: approval of the meeting, meeting minutes. Everyone on the committee got a copy of it and reviewed it. Um, I just need a vote to approve it. Motion to approve. Second by Heather. All in favor of approval of mini meeting minutes of 5-11-21? Uh, sure. There was, a, there was a note in the meeting minutes that referenced the person who was not on the attendance. Yes. Yes. yes, we fixed it. it. Yep. And the posted version, if you look on the town website, has it correct. Okay. So we are good on that. Any other questions from it? Okay. Do we have an approval? All in favor say aye. Aye. Denies, nays. Okay. Meeting minutes have been approved. Item number four, project update. Rob. All right. Thanks, Jason. So right now we still have the three phases of our construction, areas under construction, the back platform addition, the front admin addition and renovation. And then phase C, which is the existing classroom renovation. Uh, phase C, we're at the point now where we're installing ceiling grid. Um, we passed the floor, so our next major steps there are going to be uh, the above ceiling inspection, so we can actually close out the uh, gridded ceiling in those phases. Um, and then we'll be looking to schedule newer and some of the finished items, kind of more in towards mid June. We're also looking to land the new rooftop unit and turn on the HVAC system in there over June. So we're moving right ahead with C and the renovation on target for a late June completion. Um, admin, so we were able to put the roof on last weekend, um, or two weekends ago. We were able to put it on, there's still work going on with the exterior skin, so we're framing, we're putting the, the not drywall, but just sheathing on the exterior of the building. And then next week we'll transition to where we're actually installing brick. Once brick's in place, we'll transition to installing the windows. Um, on the interior side, we're actually starting the framing. So we're starting to lay out the new rooms. Um, we're still moving ahead with our above ceiling installation. So that's the roughing for the lights, the plumbing, and then the HVAC equipment and dock work and items like that. Uh, sprinkler was able to come on and reconfigure. So we're in decent shape there as well. Really, what we need to do is get the framing in place, the drywall, and the, the mechanical equipment in the walls. Once we pass that, that'll let us finish painting, start painting, and then we can get our ceiling grid. That all kind of happen simultaneously as we're finishing up the windows and getting that addition tight. Um, platform. So all back, we need the same thing. We actually put that roof on this weekend. So the roof's are temporarily. We have the roof drains tied in so the water that rains is below the roof drains. We have that all framed in and sheathed so the actual mason, the mason started this week and is installed in brick. So about two weeks we'll have that and all brick up by the end of next week. You can kind of see it will be up to the roof level. There's not a lot of interior work on the platform. Um, there's really three different rooms. So we'll end up as we get through the brick. Um, about kind of mid June, we'll be able to start framing out in the light area when we need to do that. So I'll try to get C, D, and E pushed as far ahead as we can so that comes summertime when we take the other areas of the school. We can just jump over to the next areas with those kind of wrapping in the finishes. Any, qu any questions? 
Any questions, members of the committee? Any questions from the people calling in? All right. <laughs> no, I, I was going to say with sunglasses. Um, number five on the agenda, approval of the invoices. Rob, why don't you start it out? Okay, there, there are five of them. Silver Petroselli for their April services, invoice dated 5 1 in the amount of 50,205.37. This is for the majority of the work is, majority of this cost is the Woodward and Kearns who is catching up on the uh, indoor air quality testing that they did last fall, a lot of the monitoring and a little bit of the testing that they did over, uh, just over the, basically uh, March and April. So the bulk of this is Woodward and Kearns money. Uh, Collier's Project Leaders, which is, um, our monthly uh, fee, and then WB Myers. This is two rentals or two storage costs. The $1,050 is the storage of the uh, stuff in the ATR, and then the eight grand is for the moving of uh, in April, moving of the bases into the new areas and the relocation around. Them. So, can I have a motion for discussion of the invoice? Okay. Any questions? No questions? Can I call to a vote? All in favor of approval of the invoices say aye. 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 All opposed? No abstentions. Okay. So they've been approved. Moving on to item number six, approval of OC011. Owner change order 11. This is for nine ATPs that have been previously approved, and it's just the um, getting it out to the Gilbane's contract. So the ATPs were ATP 087, which is cutting on the chance I plate, which is a, actually a credit coming back to the project. ATP 045, which is the PR for the flooring revisions in the corridor. That was approved, I believe, two meetings ago. ATP 47, which was relocated a branch line in the gym, um, existing branch line that need, needed to be relocated out of the way of the new construction. Uh, ATP 77, which is sidewalk replacement right out here, where the uh, sewer line came through, and it's just to replace that piece of the sidewalk. Um, ATP 084, which is RFI 162. This is just. Um, it was, wasn't on the drawings. The, in the resource room on the courtyard, there was a, actually, it wasn't on the courtyard, was it? No, I think it was um, mm -hmm. the resource room, 136. Oh, yeah, that was on the courtyard. Okay. So it's off the 90s wing. Off the 90s wing, and it goes down to the courtyard, but it's a window that got, needs to be infilled. So this was, and it was on our plan to do so. Uh, Brick and stud to infill it. ATP 91, which is the fin tube radiation cover replacement that Rob kind of uh, explained in the, on the tour, is the existing, existing uh, fin tube radiation would be much more to, it's a, it's a lot cleaner, a lot easier, and a lot better finished product if we go with new fin tube radiation versus trying to rework the existing and a lot less time consuming. Um, ATP 73, which is the flooring replacement of corridors. Sorry, the previous one, ATP 45, was for the 90s wing. ATP 73 is for the corridors of the original building. ATP 80, which is grading clarification out by the uh, kindergarten wing and the APR. There was some grading clarifications that it added cost. And then ATP 089 was for Colo Sale to do some test pits for the uh, contaminated soil for the existing ADA sidewalk down to the playground. So in total, all nine is $191,451. Any questions? 
So the new contract sum for Gilbane will be eighteen million eight hundred and forty-four thousand seventy-six dollars and nine cents. Do I have a motion to open the discussion for approval OCL 11? Okay. Questions? Yeah, my other question is the remedial. I'm trying to get a second. Oh, uh, Norm. Uh, what's the one for remediation? Where we're testing for again? Or what is that one? It, it was when they came back out because of other issues they had. When the town came back, they had to do tests for PCBs because of it's in the lay down area. They couldn't get the drill rig to where it needed to be. So the site contractor dug some test kits for them. And it was over the. So the prior, you know, so the way the electrical line is, the primary electrical line comes in from the road and hits the transformer by the community garden. They didn't want to drill around it. So what they had us to do was we just dig that it for them. So they sampled these to off our activities. And all of those amounts were previously approved. Right? <laughs> we're, we're tracking for any costs associated with the, okay. with the contaminated soil. So we are tracking the cost. Yes. Okay. Any other questions from members of the committee or from the public? Okay. Hearing none, I'd like to call it to a vote. All, all in favor of approval OCO 11 say aye. aye. All opposed, nay. Extensions. The ayes have, pa uh, have it. Approval of OCO 11. Number seven on the agenda, discussion of the new meeting schedule, not the new meeting schedule, but discussion of meeting schedule. It was uh, potentially when the last day of school happened, uh, the town of Fairfield will allow person-to-person -person meeting, which is actually kind of good. We haven't seen each other in a while. Um, so that being said, uh, I would like to recommend that we start meeting face-to-face -face during the next meeting. Um, at potentially town hall is what we're thinking of. Sorry, next meeting? The next, the next meeting, yeah. The one after school is up? When's the next? Isn't June, 8th. Uh, June 8th. Okay, so the next schedule meeting will be June 8th, the one after that. Okay, or we can push it back or whatever the case may be. Um, especially in the sunny Right. So we could do that and call, we can do a special meeting, but we can also see what's exactly on the agenda, maybe pushing it out. Mm -hmm. um, so starting July, hopefully we'll be able to do face to face meetings. Um, and I will also send you out an email seeing what your summer schedules are like because as we're getting closer and closer, obviously you may need to meet on a few hours, but if you're not around, we can do special meetings. But um, that's where we are for right now. Um, if there's any questions on that, all right, seeing none. Uh, item number eight on the agenda before we adjourn. Um, I know you guys are all of Hall, uh, Hall, uh, Mill Hill parents and you, the situation that happened today, just to let you know, because there may be questions, it was not a sound from the construction site. I was told uh, by Gil Bain that the police did come, they investigated, made sure it did not come this from here. So they have been cleared of, of, of calling a 911 in. So um, that is that. Any other questions or comments before we adjourn? All right. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn, seconded by Harry Ackley, and we are adjourned. Have a nice night. Have a good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.